right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my July 2019 update video, part two. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as youtube -y stuff. So as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is a literal pain in my ass. So over this past weekend, I've been going through some physical pain in that area trying to figure out what it is, because originally I thought it was a skin infection, because I had that a couple years back when I was in the Navy, and it was not a fun time. But went through, did some more super sleuthing, and ruling out stage four terminal brain cancer, found out it was something called stichial, isothichial, I can't pronounce it, uh, bursitis. Basically, it's these little sacs in between your hamstring and your hip bone. And if they're irritated enough through uh, mostly sedentary activity, like sitting down, editing videos and things, they become inflamed and it can be really hard to sit down. For the past week, I've been doing a lot of standing up, literally getting off my ass. <laughs> I couldn't bear to sit down for more than a couple seconds. Thanks to walking around and stuff, as much as I can anyway, because it's either like really fucking hot around here or it's raining, or both, because the South, <laughs> basically. Uh, but I'm doing as much as I could to um, alleviate it. And I'm happy to say, a week later, you can't tell, I'm sitting down and I'm not screaming in agony. So, major plus. But uh, it still does hurt a little bit. So I got myself a little cushion for my seat, which helps. And I'm also doing like standing and stuff like that, taking uh, breaks. Because it used to be when I was working on videos, I would just edit for like hours at a time without moving. Not really good for uh, the old behind, as it were. So doing as much as I can to alleviate that and well on our way to a uh, full recovery, which is good because this is the week that I'm gonna be the busiest as far as school goes because the summer semester is gonna be wrapping up here in a few weeks and I have some big projects on the way. So I'm gonna have my hands full with that and also have another video project that I gotta get out as well. And then I'm gonna be working on school stuff. So I'm gonna be quite the busy beaver for the next couple weeks, but not here on YouTube, sadly. On the plus side, the semester is gonna be over uh, near the end of July and I'll have basically like a month off. So during that time, I'm gonna be keep myself as busy as possible, working on some new videos, video editing projects, once again, apologies for the lack of videos as of late. School obviously takes priority over that stuff. So I wanna make sure I'm good to go as far as grades go. Once the semester is over, I'll be going a little bit ham on the videos. And I've been working on what type of videos that I wanna put out. One of the top things on the list is new video editing tutorials for my editing channel. Cause I've been looking to see like when I last uploaded a tutorial. <sighs> And it's been a little bit, been a couple months, and I wanna get that taken care of and have some videos for you guys to watch. But I also wanna do more than just tutorials for that channel as well. I wanna do also some more like dealing with creator type problems, a la Roberto Blake, that sort of thing. So in addition to learning how to do stuff in like Premiere Pro and things like that, I also wanna delve more into the creator side of things and kind of address some problems there and some stuff that I've been working out in my 13 plus years on the platform. So be on the lookout for that as well. As far as the videos for this channel goes, definitely want to bring back Andy Before Japandi, thinking of a bunch of different ideas for it, different topics that I wanna discuss. And the main thing that I wanna change about it is the name. Because yesterday I was thinking about what I can make videos of for Andy Before Japandi. And I got to thinking, you know, the name Andy Before Japandi, like I get it. It's, you know, Andy before he goes back to Japan. -di. Not really as jazzed about the name as I once was. Once I start making videos again, they're gonna be under the new name, which is gonna be Andy Talks Japandi, which is a very slight change, but uh, it's gonna be the same exact series, just with a slightly different name. And I'm probably gonna go through like a million first takes because I'm gonna call it Andy Talks Navy. 
But that was kind of like where I got the idea from because I'm not really doing the Andy Talks Navy series anymore. So I figure why not incorporate that into something that I am doing, which is Andy Talks Japandi. So once the summer semester is over, I'm gonna be rolling out some Andy Talks Japandi videos. So be on the lookout for those. And uh, good things are coming, guys. It feels like I've been going under a bit of a dry spell. Being on this platform for as long as I have, 13 plus years, you know, you hear a lot of whispers and stuff about, well, you've been on the platform for 13 years and you still haven't, quote, made it. You know, you still only get a couple of views and maybe like a comment or two. Like, why you still do it? Why you still bother? And the short answer is, because I love making YouTube videos. You know, I just love it. So, you know, I wouldn't have lasted nearly as long if I didn't love what I do. Right now, I'm on the come up. I have a really strong goal in mind and I wanna see it through. For me, you know, that goal is getting back out to Japan, making the videos that I wanna make, as well as going back to school abroad in Japan, <laughs> as it were. So that's what's keeping me going on the platform. And I realized that some of my videos may not be super duper interesting right now because I'm on the come up, but in the future, when things start picking back up again, these are gonna be the interesting videos to see like kind of where I came from, you know, the Andy before joining the Navy, Andy while he was in the Navy in San Diego, then in Yokosuka, then when he got out of the Navy in Michigan, then in Ohio, and currently in North Carolina, and then back to Japan. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this journey. It certainly hasn't been easy, to say the least. That said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.